uh, we are discussing about the transport management system transport administration part so as part of this transport administration the configuration is very important here the configuration of the so transport management system is very important here tms configuration so which means transport uh, uh, like uh, creating the domain controller creating the domain controller then adding the systems into domain controller right so same for anything we have to use the stms is the transaction code for this one right then after adding the domain controller then transport routes transport layers there are the two types of transport routes there are the two types of transport layers right so those differences are very important then after that up to this part is the configuration which we need to do then tr request creation request creation here so request creation here so this request creation will be done by the so your transport owners either development or functional team member sometimes we may have to do using the se01 or 09 or 010 transaction code we can create the transport request there are the three types of requests are there customization workbench transport of copies so transport of copies is for the during the refresh time we will do it then se09 is for the sorry uh, workbench request is for the cross client client independent it is applicable for the all the clients so customization request is for the client specific specific to that client only specific to that client only okay client dependent so it's not for the all the clients here so that is the differentiation of the client request creation then they will add the objects into here the transport request the naming convention will be sid sid k9 and the number sid k9 and the number will be created here so in this request number we have to add the objects we have to add the objects here once you add the objects here then we need to uh, we need to release the objects here we need to so release the request so release also will be done by the transport owners only here right once you've done the change uh, you, once you once you add the objects data which you want to move it then the request the request release is our scope we need to release the request here once you release the request then it will go and add it into the it will go and add it into the target import queue import queue means when you release the request it will come into the in this list here import queue list here so here the request will be available from here we need to import the request here we need to import the transport request here when the request is released the request will split into the request will split into the two files here one is the profiles and data files here profiles starts with the k9 k9 and the data file starts with the r9 here r9 here data file profile and data file here profiles and data files here right so these files will be added to the transport queue into, into the queue it will be added to the transport queue usr sap trans directory under the trans directory the request will be added here then the trans directory so the data will be added to the under the trans directory here usr sap in the trans directory the data will be added to the here right so co files and data files then when you are importing the transport request that will be available in the buffers import buffers here in the buffers the request will be added to the buffers here right so that is the so trans directory buffers so here you can see bin buffer co files data files these are all those things here right so then then once you start importing the transport request suppose you want to import the transport request select the transport request click on the import right this is purely request import request creation request import request import is our purely basis team responsibility means we are the responsible configuration is a basis team responsibility then right it will come to this configuration request creation release is not our responsibility so but request import is basis responsibility select the respective system 
then select the transport request click on the import button import button here when you click on the import button it will ask the so which system you are going to import the transport request which client which system then you need to select the system and the client then uh, here you can see the options here so here depends upon the company so we may have to choose the this options here so here some people they may choose the so first three last one why because we have to leave the transport request import the request again suppose sometimes tomorrow if you want to import the request again we need to select this option if we want to override the option request you need to use the override versionals so these options we need to choose it here this is the one we need to choose it here click on the import request click on the import request here so then click on the yes button here click on the yes button here so that the request will be imported here the request will be imported here so it will start importing into the transport request here here while importing the request normally generally sometimes we may face the issues here sometimes request will not be imported request will not be imported due to the issues so what are the issues we may face it here right so that is the one which we are going to discuss now while the transport errors the tr errors here so that is called the written codes written codes here so here the while importing 0 4 8 12 there are the written codes here four types of written codes here zero means it successfully zero means successfully imported here four means successfully imported with warnings with warnings here with warnings so both the cases we can ignore so either zero or four we can ignore it here so eight means written code eight means so the transport one or one or the more objects are having issues so that's fine right one or more objects are having issues this is we need to check with the transport owner here rc12 means system issues system issues here sab system issues this if the rc code then basis scheme 2 has to check rc8 then the tr owner who created the transport request tr owner has to check it out here so rc12 rc12 means here we have to check it out rc12 means we need to check the issues we need to check the so what is causing the issue and all those things we have to check it out right so then let me here the request is getting imported so we can see here written code rc means written code 0 0 means fine something it got 8 or 12 that time so we need to worry if it is 8 or 12 so you, so we have to worry about this one here right so we have to worry just click on the refresh it will give the here symptoms like it's successfully imported or not it will give the information here right so you can see it here so system issues here so what type of system issues we may face it here in the report written code 12 what we have to check it out here the main thing is here so we need to check it out the in case the main common issues here so one is the issue may be causing the issue the tms adm user in triple zero client got locked got locked status here due to the incorrect password or something so it got logged if it is the logged then maybe the tms adm or uh, tms star rfc destinations rfc destinations it won't work it won't work properly so that is the one thing the third one is the third one is the tms rfc or destinations it won't work the third one is called the sometimes what happens so the job job like rdd imp dp job it won't run it won't run in that case what we have to do we need to we need to run the report we need to run the report in triple zero client sa 38 then there is a report is called the rdd new pp report we have to execute it in case of this job is not running we have to check it out in case of this user is locked we need to unlock it 
the sar of destinations are not working then we need to check why it is not working here the fourth one then there are no free btc work process there are no free tc work process to for this one here so there are the there are four common errors here here you can see it is also got successful here which means rc12 means return code 12 which means the request got successfully imported here the request got successfully imported here right rc0 rc0 the request got successfully imported to the here this is called the rc0 here right nwd rc0 here so 0, 4, 8, 12 is the common errors normally these are the written codes here 0, 4 we can ignore it but 8 or 12 8 also we can inform, can inform to the the respective owner who created the transport request to know what are the issues and everything so then 12 means the transport errors so either any one of the reason can cause the issues here in the common interview point of time questions they may ask you the so questions like so if the transport request is not getting imported what could be the possible reasons here in that case you need to explain these three these four reasons you have to explain it here so one maybe user is locked then how can we unlock it then rfc destinations are not working then where can you check so the most common thing is rdd imp dp job this is the job is responsible for to import the transport request here if we go to the so sm awesome 37 jobs means here we can check it out so here we can check the whether the job is running or not rdd imp dp job yes transport now we imported this job is successfully imported here right successfully completed here this job will trigger so here you can see job is created then it's updated so which means so the transport request will import in case of this job is not running we need to go to the sa 38 sa 38 so here we need to run the rdd new pp report we have to execute it here rdd new pp report we have to execute it here so schedule the background job this is the one of the guarantee question so every interview they may ask you in case of jobs are not running what could be the possible reasons and in case of job is not running what you will do here sometimes we need to something there is no free background job we want to run the job there should be a free btc work process right here if you don't have the free btc work process what will happen job it won't run if the job is not running then request will not be imported so dependency one by one one by one there is a dependency here dependency here this is what you need to check it out here right so this is the transport common transport errors and way to check it out and this is the thing here coming to the logs so in case of any issues so where to check like so logs logs checking here here os level trans directory there is a log folder there we can check the s log file we can check it out or sap level stms then uh, import queue respective system then there is a tp system log file both are same both the ways we can check it out so here you can go to the stms transaction code then select the system which system okay this is the system select the system go to the go to tp system log here tp system log here here you will get the clear picture here what's happening with the my transport request here so you will get the all the information here if the in case job is not running if there are some issues with the temp directory system cannot bind so you can see the warnings here some errors so you will get the some information some useful information in the log file here so in case of any issues we may have to look at the this common errors common issues everything we have to look at out this one here right this is the one important thing we need to choose it one important thing we have to choose it and we have to consider it here right so common issues these all are the common issues which we have to check it out here so main is the configuration if the configuration is correctly configured from the triple zero client of the each and every system definitely transports valor so our duty is day to day daily every day every one hour every one hour so daily we will get the list of transport requests we may have to go to the request then select the transport request click on the so import request only single truck half load truck we need to click it out not the full load truck we can also disable the full load truck normally in the some of the real time cases we have to disable the full load truck here so how to disable the full load truck means here 
you need to go to the systems so go to the system here there is a uh, here we need to set the parameters here here we need to set the parameters here right here we need to set the no underscore no no import no underscore import underscore all that parameter we need to set it out so that so it will disable the so that uh, it will disable the that option the full load truck full load truck is the very dangerous button so one time no one tier one after one uh, another only we have to import it here so multiple tr set a time means you need to enable the full load full load truck so that time so we just we can import the all the tr set a time we can import it here that is the import all multiple trs in one time that is called the full load truck full load truck we have to import it here that is called the full load truck here so here uh, there is a import single import underscore no underscore import underscore all this is the see here it is like going it is only it will import the only single request here so here we need to so set 0 r1 0 r1 so that click on the refresh save button here right so then once you've done it here see here again user id so something wrong with the destinations or user id creation normally you should not ask this type of prompts so if it is asking this type of prompts means we have not correctly done the configurations so configuration is not done correctly here okay so that is what we have to do So the main common issues, the lock sticking. So list of things here, we have to do it here. List of things here. So these are the common things we need to check it out here. Common things we have to check it out here, right? So hey, just to give me a minute. Yeah, uh, yeah, sorry guys. Yeah, today there is a. Uh... Uh, then I. Yeah, sorry. Okay. I think uh, you should go over there. We can continue to Pumura as well. Yeah. Yes, sir.